the ultimate mission. Sell the most papers of anybody in the world. I don't think any of us realize what was to come. The National Enquirer. We really understood the psychology of the average American person. He used to call the reader of the National Enquirer Missy Smith in Kansas City. She was the standard by which every story is judged. Dolly Parton is depressed. Elizabeth Taylor got fat again and can't find love. You would go, oh, and have to read all about it. Like in ancient Rome, cheer them when they are famous. Thumbs down. When things go wrong, circulation went up dramatically. Look at the Inquirer in the realm of popular culture, rather than journalism. Get the story and don't come back until you have it. When Elvis died, we dressed up somebody as a priest. Underneath his robe, he had a miniature camera. We sold 6.9 million copies. I've done dirty tricks, oh my lord. Phones were banned, mail being read. We paid sources? Yes, we do. The John Bonet story, Schwarzenegger, Michael Jackson, Princess Diana, Cosby, Oprah sold a lot of papers. This is the stuff the tabloid dreams are made of. If we had had George Bush doing blow, we would have done it. The Inquirer has gotten some stories really right. I would have never worn those ugly ass shoes. We paid every sports photographer to look through old negatives. The mainstream guys suddenly saw, uh-oh. They had to give us credit. People don't realize just how creepy the operations are. Catch and kill. Buy up the rights to your story. Never seen again. As corrupt as you can be. Is it entertainment or information? It's the most perfectly placed piece of propaganda in America. The most powerful people change the news narrative at will. They did something that everybody wanted to see. Was there things that were done that were outright illegal? Maybe.